As I was saying to you earlier on, I love this because it was like Sue Perkins in my head talking to me. <laughs> well, I don't know that you want that, do you? No, I think you do. Do you know what shines out through it, though, Sue? Your, your friendship with Mel. Oh. I mean, it's very special. It's really, it really is. special. I'm very lucky. I think, mm. I mean, maybe everyone's got that one person and they meet and they just think, oh, there's a little soul, whatever you'd like to call it, a soul connection yeah. or just something that, about yourself that you see in somebody else. Yeah. And, yeah, little twins, the pair of us. It's really good. And it, obviously, you're great pals, but, but it works on screen as well, as we see in Bake Off and all the shows that you've done. It's just really great to have that person. She is your three o'clock in the morning person. She you is. might not need to phone her. Not yet. But lovely to know that you can we're both our combined sort of intellectual <laughs> ages around 10 we're just like a couple of slightly overweight toddlers <laughs> it's great it works so well i can't believe that i was reading this that your careers officer said you should be a dentist yes no yes. why well this 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 woman came down from london to our school and, and we had a sort of careers afternoon mm -hmm. and everybody she said everybody in my class should be a secretary apart from me i was singled out and i should be a dentist how weird i, I failed every science o level i don't understand anything i have no interest in teeth which i, I think is the first point point of call. I would think so. For a dentist. Mind you, I don't know what many people say, I desperately want to be a dentist. It, 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 is, a, it is a strange one. <laughs> it's funny, Sue. Of course it's funny, because you that's what you are. You know, you do all of that. But there's some sad bits in it as well. Yeah. We were very worried about you. Do you remember there was all those lurid headlines about you having a, a tumour, which, of course, yeah. you're fine. I am, yes. You're totally fine. It's, uh, that's, I did do want to make that really clear, actually. Yeah. It's obviously very difficult. It was very difficult for me to see all those oh, headlines. Oh, jeez, I, I couldn't went, believe it. I know. Yeah, and, and very, very alarmist. But, um... Uh, actually, I write about it in the book yep. very, very briefly, and what I wanted to write about was, was not necessarily having a benign pituitary tumour, but, but the way I was told, but also the fact I found out through work. You know, yeah. at that point in my life, I thought, perhaps the balance isn't right. It's when I was doing super sizes when and we were, were having blood yeah. tests yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and stuff. But um, people were really lovely and, and sort of wanted to know I was OK. So yep. but what are. I really want to say is I am OK. And, and um, uh, yeah, for, for those who, who don't have such a, a sort of um, benign brain tumour, I, I send all love. Yeah. Um, I'm very, very fortunate. I'm glad you're okay. The, thing, thing. the thing was, though, because of this, it, may, it means you can't have kids. And reading in the book, I was really shocked by this because you went to a consultant and he said, are you married? And you said, no. And he says, boyfriend. And you says, no, no, I'm gay. And then he said, oh, well, that makes it easier. That makes it easier. You're most likely infertile, yeah. you can't have kids. How does it make it easier? I don't understand what, what that, that was. That's such an old fashioned, strange yeah, way it, of it, thinking. It really, it really was. And thankfully, I'm with a really good consultant now who just sort of gets it and, and kind of, we, we, we kind of, you know, have our, our sort of regular checks and stuff. But yeah, it was very difficult as if, as if having kids is something that, mm. you're a woman, you, and it's, it's of part course. of, it's, it's hardwired into our DNA. And I, I, yeah, who knows, I might have been able to have kids had I undergone the, um, uh, the treatment, there are some sort of hardcore meds that you can take. Sure. But it was at that point in my life where it, I was cusping anyway on being mm. perhaps a little too old. And, but it's, it's when you get the choice taken away from you. That's the difficulty, yeah. isn't it, when somebody takes that away from you? Well, I think we all think in life that we're invincible. Of course we do. And we go right on believing yeah, that until the we point do. we're not. Absolutely. And it's so shocking. And I know that everyone at home will have had that moment yeah. um, where okay. they're just felled by something. Mm. And they think, oh, hang on. I, this, that wasn't I, supposed to happen to me, actually. I've got edges. <laughs> I break. There's something. And it's an I odd know. moment. Yeah. No, it is. Uh, when you meet, met your partner now, Anna, yeah. did you know right away that she was the one? Did you know right away when you met there her? Was some, there, was, there was something sort of magical in the in in the air absolutely yeah. there was we, we have a real look, look at us there i look <laughs> mad um i just i just like a like nutty nutty professor that sort of <laughs> collared somebody much more beautiful than her um but no we have we have a real laugh actually that's Good. the thing and oh, that, that's, that's what i want i want joy in my life and um i'm lucky to have it in abundance well talking about joy in your life you're in a, you are in a really good place as you see you've got a, a fantastic girl also bake off uh, you know the most Fantastic programme on TV, the most successful programme on TV. How brilliant to be part of that. It's, it's great. A, a joy, you know. It wasn't, mm. it, wasn't, it wasn't always us because we started off with a show that we had no expectations of. It was such a, such you a strange thing. You weren't all that thing. keen anyway. You weren't all that sure about it, I should say. Well, I said no because I thought, why... Who wants to watch people watching other people watching people making cakes? That's never going to work, right, which shows okay. you how stupid I am. <laughs> and um, we started it off and it all was uh, pretty... It was a pretty intense first series because we were mm. all finding our feet. Sure. And the final, I write about it in the book, but the final, we decided to do it at Fulham Palace, which is in the flight path. So all the Bake Off stuff had to be done in 30 second chunks. Oh, no, it takes. And, and because the plane would rumble over It took hours and hours and hours to it do took, it. The first, first day of that final was 16 hours. 
<laughs> she, she just, just, you know, Mary would try and say something and then the sort of roar of a 747 from Addis Ababa would come over the top. But she went, I'll, I'll do that again, shall I? Yeah, we may have to do that again. It's a bit lesser. But it is fantastic. Next series next year, you will be there with Mel and Paul oh, and abs Mary. Absolutely, absolutely. one hopes. Well, I, we haven't be. heard yet, but I'm, I'm hoping very much that they'll... They'll bring it back. Oh, I think they just may. I think they just may. Is this out just now, Spectacles? It is. It's been out for a week. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Spectacles, a memoir. Sue, thank you. Thank it's you, It's just darling. so lovely to talk to you. Likewise. It really is. Thank you so much.